Yeah, that's my blood. That's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out for no, a second. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe here's one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. All right, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I don't know. Someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the, the fate, fate of, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp, something that pinpoints the sight of the Lost Fleet. So, we're dicking this guy over, right? Damn Absolutely. straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Oh. 
Hello. Uh, <clears throat> well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. <laughs> Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist, we find the ships, and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm-hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <clears throat> Trust me. Sure you're up for this. I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. You won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. We have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. This way. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? We figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble, I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah, I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is gonna take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay, this one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Yeah, fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. <clears throat> Chloe. I'll see you on the other side. Looking forward to it. Oh, crap. Now what? It's time to tip the odds back in our favor. 
Oh, that's brilliant. Guns? What are you thinking? Relax, Gandhi. They're tranquilizer guns. Totally non-lethal. Your conscience will remain unscathed. Oh, well, good idea. Great. Okay, a little bit of advice. These things have lousy range, so we still have to get in close. You okay with that? Know how to shoot a gun, genius. All right. the acoustic alarm. Until we get this case unlocked, that thing's gonna go off if we so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Voila. <laughs> All right. Now we're sure it's the right one. I guess there's only one way to find out. Sorry, Marco. That's the understatement of the year. This is it. It's bloody useless. The light of the great Khan. Wait a minute. What are you doing? It's resin. It'll burn. And? Just give me your lighter. What? Is that really a good idea in here? Come on. Let me see that. Our ships were driven by a great flood tide into the wilds of Java. Sounds like they were hit by a tsunami. Yeah, somewhere off the west coast of Borneo. Oh, great. That narrows it down a bit. Uh, look, this mountain must have been the closest landmark where they went aground. We find that mountain. We find the ships. Yeah, good work, mate. Uh, wait, wait, there's more. Okay, Joe. As if the ocean itself sought to throw off the terrible cargo we carried from Shem... Bala. The curse of the Chintamani. Will that mean something to you? Shambhala? Oh my god, Flynn. What? Marco Polo found Shambhala. Shangri-La. You're joking. If they were carrying the Chintamani stone, it might still be there. It's all very fascinating, but we really gotta go. Yeah, I'm right behind you. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, mate. This is where we part ways. Wait, Flynn, we had a plan. No, you had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. Uh, come on, throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah, right. You're the mastermind. Only you overlooked one little detail. Didn't you, partner? So what are you going to do, shoot me now? No, I just need you out of the way for a little while. Oh, shit. You think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flynn, listen. Face it, genius. You've been played. Ah, <laughs> uh -uh, not yet. I want to give the guards a decent head start. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah? You overlooked one little detail, didn't you, partner? What? Face it, genius, you've been played. Oh, really? <gasps> hey, hey, hey! Jackass, you're ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. Sully! I really can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. How you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So, I had to grease a few palms. 
did go through the rest of your money. And a good chunk of my own, but hey. Jesus, you stink. Yeah, not half as bad as that cigar. Yeah. Hey, how'd you find me? Well, a uh, friend of yours asked for my help. Hello, Nate. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a goddamn minute. Hear her out. Thank you, Victor. Hey, no offense, Sully, but you're not exactly the best judge of character, especially when it comes to women. Fair enough. All the same. Dear God. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Ooh. Last cell I was in, eight of us had to share. Listen, Nate. You know something I really appreciate you dropping by? But if you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first now, place, I wouldn't minute. have been rotting in this shithole for Listen, the last three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. I told you, he's not going to listen to me. Screw this. Nate, they found the ships. In Borneo. Yes. And the Chintamani stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. No, they haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client, Lazarevich. You know, the nutcase. They've been working together all along. If they haven't found the stone, that means there's still time. You're gonna get us into that dig site. We are gonna snatch that treasure right out from under them. They'll never see it coming. Yeah, well, payback's a bitch. Look, they called it the wish-fulfilling jewel. It's a sacred object. What, like a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world. A perfect raw sapphire of the deepest blue, larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Ooh, that's got to be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. And you say there's more of this? Loads more. Lazarevich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani stone for years. <laughs> well, if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any luck. <laughs> if I can get a look at Lazarevich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well, that's why it has to be an inside job. From someone they know and trust. Oh. Okay, I see where this is going. I just need a diversion. You give me five minutes in that tent, that's all it'll take. Really? Five minutes? Well, that's great. I won't even have to get my top off. Chloe, I was thinking more like an explosion. Or that can be arranged. Are you in? Oh, hell yes. I was in before you were. Chloe, you're reading us? Loud and clear. We're getting close. Wait, wait, just hold on a sec. Three months and you have found nothing. Well, well, well now wait, wait a minute. We've been commander. That must be Lazarevich. This man was caught stealing artifacts from site number five. You would betray me for this? No, no, Zoran, I can't explain. No, no, need, no need. <laughs> I am surrounded by traitors and fools! What do you say we really ruin this guy's day? Do it. Search the perimeter! Go! All right, it's all yours, kid. I'll cover you from here. Man, this Lazarevich guy isn't screwing around, Sully. 
You should see all this stuff. He's got files on every expedition to find Shambhala. All the way back to the 1600s. What about Marco Polo's journals? <laughs> Here they are. Just hurry it up. You haven't got much time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worthy pilgrim is granted a golden passport to conquer obstacles on his journey to Shambhala. Huh. Is that supposed to mean something? Beats me. Hold on. Here we go. It was with great sorrow that I left my fellow travelers to their fate. A fate decreed by the dreadful cargo we bore from Shambhala. You must have thought that tsunami was some kind of divine retribution. Wait a minute. Damn. Sully, I don't think the Chintamani Stone is here. What? Listen to this. I, I would have sooner endured the wrath of Kublai Khan himself than remove the Chintamani Stone from that sacred shrine. Marco Polo never had the stone. Then what dreadful cargo is he talking about? I don't know. Well, if the stone's not here, what the hell is Lazarovich looking for? Shambhala. Here in Borneo? He's a little wide of the mark, don't you think? He must be trying to pick up Marco Polo's trail. Back to Shambhala. Why? <laughs> because the stone is still there. <sighs> Chloe, can you talk? Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. In all this digging they've done, have they found any bodies, any remains at all? No, now that you mention it, nothing. Why? <laughs> Over 600 people were shipwrecked here, yet there's no bodies. Don't you find that a little odd? So where did they all go? Where would you go if a tsunami hit? To higher ground. Bingo. We head to that mountain. What do you bet we find Marco's pals? Chloe, can you meet up with us? Already on my way. Great. Uh-oh. Nate, you gotta get out of there. You're gonna have to give me a minute, Sully. You don't have a minute. What's this? They're all dead. Oh, crap! Spread out! Stay down, kid. I got you covered. Wow. Look at this. What do we have here? Just kidding. Nate, you're gonna give me a goddamn heart attack. Oh. Man, is that an ugly friggin' thing? What is it? Some kind of weapon? No, no, it's a, a purba. It's a ritual object from Tibet. It's used to destroy obstacles. Huh? No, you know, spiritual ones. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, could this be what Marco Polo was talking about? Kid, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> In his journal, he wrote that uh, the worthy seeker would be given a golden passport to conquer obstacles on the journey to Shambhala. So, what, this is it? Look, that's all really interesting, but where the hell is it a passport to? Well, maybe this map would help. Let me see that. <laughs> Between Greater India and the province of Tibet lies a field of exquisitely finished temples. Hundreds of gilded spires stretching as far as the eye can see. Hold on, I know this place. It's in Nepal. Yeah, except it's not just a field of temples anymore. It's a city. Well, that could make things a little more challenging. Now, hold on, there's more. In all these many temples, only one conceals the secret path to Shambhala. And that path shall only be revealed to the pilgrim who bears the golden passport. All <laughs> right, nice work, kid. So what are we waiting for? <laughs> Let's get out of here. All right. See ya. Get your hands up. You sure know how to pick them. Shut up, Sully. Should have known it was you. 
And you, Victor goddamn Sullivan. You still dragging this tired old sack of shit around? Easy, Nate. That's pretty ballsy for a guy who spent the last three months behind bars. Better than pissing away three months in the jungle without a clue. Found the ships, though, didn't I? You couldn't find your own ass with both hands. And a map. They came from down there. Whoa. Harry, look at this. Speaking of maps... Between India and Tibet... One temple will reveal a pathway to Shambhala. Jesus, Flynn, while we're young. Oh, no. don't be such a bad sport. Take them to Lazarevich. You're gonna wish you'd stayed in prison, mate. Move. Come on, keep moving! Ah, shit. Are you all right? Yeah, well, it'll make it look more believable. Now I'm gonna try and buy you some time. No, Chloe, you have to come with us. No. Just meet me in Nepal. Now run. Let's go. I like her. Yeah, I bet you do. This way. Oh, damn. Now what do we do? We jump? Oh, hold on there, son bitch. You gotta be out of your mind. We'll break our goddamn necks. Yeah, if we get caught, Lazarevich will break them for us. I'm getting too old for this bullshit. Oh, come on, now don't you start this again. Listen, I don't have your luck. Guys like me gotta know when to walk away from the table. Sully, we're gonna get out of this, okay? We always do. Yeah. You go meet your girl in Nepal. I'm going somewhere warm. Come on. Hey, you can tell me all about it when you get back. There they are! Oh, shit. Well, shall we? After you, Butch. See you in hell, kid. <laughs> shit. When you said Lazarevich had a head start on us, you weren't kidding. Well, he's had some help from the local guerrillas. The city's been on the brink of civil war for years. He just needed to throw a little gasoline on the fire. Charming. Yeah, well, all the chaos provides some cover while he destroys the city looking for the right temple. Nate? Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. You're not having second thoughts, are you? Oh, me? Never. Good, because I'm so ready to be done with these clowns. You got a map? Uh, yeah. I'll meet you in the old market. Things are pretty quiet over there. All right, you got it. Uh-oh. You got company. Oh, great. Can you lose them? I think it might be too late for that. Come on. Nate, are you all right? I've been better. Seems like I am always saving your ass. Well, it is an ass worth saving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that an ancient Tibetan ritual dagger in your pocket? Oh, maybe I'm just happy to see you. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, hello. So this is the key to everything. Yes, it is. Marco Polo's passport to Shambhala. What do we do with it? Ah! They have no idea, actually. I do know Lazarevich won't get very far without it. I wouldn't underestimate him, you know. He and Flynn have been tearing this city apart. They must have leveled dozens of temples already. So what's our next move? Nate? I hate it when you do that. 
<laughs> Check this out. You see the symbol? Yeah. Look up there. Okay, I see the resemblance, so what does it mean? It means we know how Marco Polo found his next clue. The temple we're looking for is going to be marked with this emblem. Now all we have to do is find it. <laughs> you do realize there are literally hundreds of these temples throughout the city. Yes, but if we found a higher vantage point... We could spot our needle in the haystack. Right. There's a hotel not far from here. <laughs> Chloe, now is not the time. It's easily the tallest building in the city. Right. Right. Well, okay. That's, uh, that's good thinking. Follow me. Yep. I don't like these odds. No? No, I think maybe we should cut over to the hotel a different way. Just avoid this crew altogether. I'm sorry, do you have a plan to go along with that grenade? Yes, I do. I'm gonna circle around this way, break out their little party. Aren't you forgetting about somebody? Well, that's where you come in, sweetheart. I need you to take care of him. But uh, do it quietly. Do it quietly? Yeah. Are you sure about this? Desperate times, right? What does that mean? <sighs> oh, that was unpleasant. You must have hit a generator. Give me a hand. Just a little more. Nate, move! <laughs> no good. I'm going to have to fix the power to get you out. You going to be okay? Yeah, I wish I'd brought something to read. Looks like the circuit breaker's on the top floor. Just sit tight. I'll take care of it. Well, here we are. Now we just got to find the right temple. Well, that may be easier said than done. No, tell me about it. Maybe we can... Oh, bingo. There it is. That's the one. Yeah, it's gotta be. The one in the middle of all the gunfire and explosions. Lucky us. Nate, that's right where Lazarevich is camped. I was hoping we'd be headed in the opposite direction. Well, desperate times, right? The rig has been spotted in Sector 18. Ah, oh, crap. Any chance this is Sector 19? Sweep the city, find him, and take him up. Son of a bitch. All right, time to go. Oh, hey, hey, don't you... Hey! <sighs> Nate? What the hell are you doing here? Elena? <gasps> Jack, don't! <sighs> Wait, you know this guy? Yeah. This is Drake. Oh. Sorry. So, what's your angle on all this misery? You gonna plunder a few temples, loot the museum? <sighs> it's nice to see you two. Suppose you're here for some noble crusade, right? Actually, we're trailing a fugitive war criminal. Zoran Lazarevich, have you heard of him? Isn't that NATO's job? Well, they think that he's dead. Killed in some bombing raid. Oh, and you're here to prove otherwise. You know what? This guy's a real monster, Nate. We're talking torture, mutilation, mass executions. See, now he's, he's plotting something new. But why out here? Why, why tear apart the city, you know? It just doesn't make any sense. Oh. What? Now, tell me you don't have anything to do with this. <laughs> That's ridiculous. There you are, Nate. I think I lost them. Oh, whoa, whoa. It's all right, Chloe. They're journalists. Oh. Oh. 
We need to keep moving if we want to stay one step ahead of Lazarevich, so... Oh, man, Nate. Uh, hey, wait, wait, wait. Now, don't jump to conclusions, Elena. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Am I sensing some history here? Oh, Elena Fisher. Last year's model. <laughs> That's cute. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I'm glad you find this so funny. Well, it's just I never figured you for the white bread picket fence type. Hey, she's a lot tougher than she looks, thank you. <sighs> oh. Oh, what? She broke your heart. Oh, please. She did. Hey, you didn't know what? She? Maybe I broke hers. Oh, yes, Casanova. We need to get moving. Uh, wait, um, they're coming with us. Can't be serious. Uh, yeah, I am. I mean, I can't just ditch him in the middle of this mess. They're only going to slow us down. And if uh, Chloe, quiet, if Lazarevich catches you and me together, I'm not leaving them behind. You don't always have to play the bloody hero, you know. Nate, just dance with the one who brought you. All right. Yeah, I get it. But they're still coming with us. Well, we don't need saving, Nate. Thank you. <laughs> You might want to rethink that. Shit. Run! How about that, huh? You brought us right to the doorstep. <laughs> so I'm guessing it's not a coincidence that we ended up here? Uh, no, not exactly. <laughs> God, you're an ass. Okay, just what is it you're after, anyway? See that symbol up there? It's called the Chintamani Stone. Nate? It's a massive raw sapphire. It's worth millions. So let me get this straight. You're competing with a psychopathic war criminal for a mythological gemstone? When you put it that way, it does sound pretty stupid. Yeah, thanks for the input, Jeff. And it's supposedly in this temple. Uh, well, no. It, stone itself isn't here. Hey, look at that. No? Uh, no, it's in Shambhala. Shambhala? Nate? Yeah, you know, Shangri-La. Can I have a word with you, darling? On second thought, perhaps we should continue this conversation inside. Good idea. Come on. All right, we should be saving here for now. This just doesn't add up, Nate. Lazarevich can't be after the money. He doesn't need it. You're missing something. Come on. We haven't got all day. You two stay here. All right. Promise me you'll stay put. We'll be right back. Famous last words. I know where that is. That's right here. You see the shape of, of that peak there? Uh-huh. Here it is. Which means... Let me use your back. Which means... The entrance to Shambhala must be right here. So, we did it. We did it. Yes. <laughs> we did it. Oh, crap. That kills the mood. There's only one way out of here. You ready? Let's go. Better keep moving. He's hit. Uh, I'm okay. Let me see. Oh. All right, you're gonna be fine. All right. Think you can stand? I think so. All right, come on, hop in. No. No, no, no. Leave that. It's busted anyway. Here we go. Up. Nate. He's fine, aren't you, Chief? 
All right, get the door open. He's never gonna make it. We have to leave him. What? No! Uh, get the door open, Chloe! You're gonna get us all killed! All right, we can make that. He can't. Oh, no, you don't. We don't have a choice. <laughs> Nate? Okay. You tried, but it's over. He can't go any further. We can't just leave him here to die. He is as good as dead already, and so are we if we don't go now. Then go. Yeah. Nobody's stopping you. Chloe. <laughs> I was trying to save your skin, you idiot. Chloe? What is this? Up the stairs! Sorry. Drop the guns. Seriously. Get her out of here. She's hurt. Take her to the train. Unbelievable. You just can't help yourself, can you? I guess that makes us even. Not quite. So, this little man is Drake. Did you carry him all the way from the temple? Shame. No! Now, tell me what you found in the temple. The answer that you're looking for, okay? I know where the stone is, but you're not gonna find it without me. So just, just let her go and I will lead you right to it. My shadow, you are the reporter who has been biting at my heels. You better pray that he is not bluffing. Search him. Come on. <laughs> that is brilliant, mate. Yeah. It appears you have nothing to bargain with, Mr. Drake. Return to the staging ground. Prepare to move out. You, come with me. You. Take care of them. No problem. How can you work for that monster? Beats working against him, love. So that's it, huh? Just gonna mow us down in cold blood? Looks that way, doesn't it? Get up. I said get up! Ah! Run! Stop that! This way! Get down! You alright? Yeah. Never better. You? Nothing I want here. I think we lost him. Never should have got you into this mess. You didn't. I got here on my own. Nah. I mean, you know, the, the rest of it. Oh, we knew what the stakes were. <sighs> okay, so, uh, what do we do now? I'm going after her. Of course you are. Typical. Go after her. <gasps> Flynn said something about a train. Which means they would have taken her to the rail yard. Here. So it should be that way. Past the water tower there. Nate, she pulled a gun on us. I know. She was about to pull the trigger too. They just beat her to it. It's complicated. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Flynn knew she was with me. If Lazarevich finds out she double-crossed him, you know what he'll do to her. 
Yeah, I've seen his handiwork. Then you know I don't really have much of a choice. Honor among thieves, huh? Something like that. I sure hope you know what you're doing. I don't have the faintest idea. <laughs> ah, good to know that some things just never change. <laughs> okay, let's go. What? Oh, no, 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 no. You're not coming with me. Nate, shut up. Okay? We have a train to catch. Oh. So you got a plan B? I'm working on it. There she is. Flynn's got her. Second thoughts? No. Okay. They're about to take this show on the road, so we're gonna have to move fast. Now I'm going down there alone. No, Nate. Wait, wait, wait. Just listen. You never listen. Meanwhile, you're gonna go over there. Snag is one of those nice looking four by fours. Four by fours. Mm. You're gonna be the wheel man. I'll sneak in, I'll grab Chloe. You come in right behind us. With the getaway car. With the getaway car. Yep, got it. Got it? I got it. Go! That answers that question. Step on it! Ugh. So, how do you plan on getting her off that speeding train? Haven't thought that far ahead. Of course not. Okay. Okay, here we go. No, hold on, hold on. Almost there. Just... Again. Are you all right? Get off the train, mate. What are you talking about? You have any idea what I've been through? I never asked for any of your bloody heroics. Chloe, come on, we don't have time for this. You're right. So get off the train while you still can. And leave you with them. You made your choice. What did you expect me to do? I expected you to have my back. I had your back. How could you possibly with the other two on yours? Well, good luck with Flynn. We deserve each other. You know, I can't believe. You just don't know when to quit, do you? What? No witty remark? Nothing clever to say? I don't. No! Oh, no, you don't! Stop. Just let him go. Put him out of his misery! 